Hey guys, Sawyer here. Do you want to make stop motion videos, but you have absolutely no experience? Well, maybe you have a little experience. Even if you don't, this video should still be pretty simple. All you need is a phone. And the stuff you're gonna use for your stop motion, of course, but... Not to mention, it's also free. And if you're wondering, this also works on iOS and Android. You're gonna wanna download this app called Stop Motion Studio. It's one of the easiest stop motion apps I have ever used. There's also a version that costs money, but I really do not recommend buying it because the second app is gonna help you use all the features that's in the paid version. After you download Stop Motion Studio, you also want to download this app called InShot. It's a video editor that has pretty much all the features in the pro version of Stop Motion Studio. If you completed that, you're already doing great. Oh yeah, and make sure to make a setup for your stop motions as well. This is mine. It's not super fancy, but it's not bad either. Before we go into the Stop Motion Studio app, let's show you how stop motion works. So this is our object we're going to use for a stop motion video. It's a little Lego cart thing. So our cart is in this position, but I want it to move like this to over here. How are we going to do this? Well, step one, when you're in the Stop Motion Studio app, you want to move it just a little bit and then take a photo. Move it a little bit more and take a photo. Move it a little bit more and take a photo. And then you get the point. Now what some people do is they do this, take a photo, then they move it a super long way and then take a photo. This is not a good idea because then it makes your videos look very choppy. I'm gonna show you an example of a smooth looking car and a choppy looking car. In this stop motion, they're moving the car too far away in between photos. But the smaller movements makes the smoother animation. And as you can see, since this one has smaller movements, it looks a lot smoother. Now let's enter the Stop Motion Studio app. To make your first stop motion movie, just click the new movie button. Now this is where you kind of edit your stop motions in the app, but for now you're going to want to press the camera icon. Now you get to start making your movie. After you're done making your stop motion, you want to click this little icon. This basically shows how fast your character is moving in your stop motion video. Scroll down to about one frame per second, and now you can see that your character is moving very slow. Now we're going to try five frames per second. You can now tell that the more frames you put, the faster your character moves. Now you have the basics of stop motion completed. Now if we want to save this stop motion video to our photos, we're going to press this back button right here. Now hold your finger down on the stop motion video and press this button. Now press export movie. Then press save video. Now the video should be saved to your photos. Now we're going to be going through our app called InShot. Once you're in the app, just press create new video. Then select the stop motion video that was saved to your photos. This is where you edit your videos. There's a lot of cool features that I think you might like. For example, try clicking the music icon. Here we can put background music in our videos, cool sound effects, and we can do voiceovers to make our characters talk. There's a lot more to know about this app, but for now I'm going to be ending the video here just because this is a little beginner's video. If you want a more detailed version of this app, be sure to comment it down below. This is just to show you how to make stop motion videos. But for now, have a great day and...